Y'all mind if I get real on? Have rallied behind me and spoken with their voice and made their voice heard. And I am, I'm, I feel so stripped in a way. I, I want to stop it there quickly. I'm going to play real quick. But she is literally talking to every one of you who have given that hashtag. Every person that has tagged her with us, we stand with Gina. The I love Gina Carano day. All of those things that we have done, everyone has done across the world, whether it be here on our YouTube community. She's pretty much saying thank you without having to say thank you because he, all of us has pulled her up. I had a chance to watch Gina Carano interview on Fast Steven Seagal's channel. They had a discussion over there. I'll leave a link to that uh, in the description below. Please go check out Fast Steven Seagal. He is um, someone who brings laughter and light in times when a lot of things are pissing us off, when there's a lot of bullies out there coming at our necks. So I'm watching this video and listening to Gina, who seems like a very genuine person. Some of us, especially in geekdom, have always felt out of place in society, uh, in, the ma in the norm, you know, what would you would consider normal. I, at one time in my life, took pride in not being normal. And I think a lot of us still do. When we went to places like um, the movie theater, or the arcade, or your comic book shop. We went there to escape and to be around people that were like us. People who were the outcasts of the norm. We met in a lot of different places and fandoms, like Star Wars. And then it became a part of our culture, became a part of who we were. It created bonds and friendships. It makes friendships out of the blue when you talk about your favorite comic book character, your favorite whatever, whatever fandom you're in. You meet someone else who's also a part of that fandom and you exchange ideas and feelings and inspirations. It's a very positive space. Now all spaces can get negative or negative people can attach themselves to it, but overall, it was always a positive space. It was a space that I used for a long time in my life to escape things that I had been through or I was refusing to confront. All in all, when Disney took Star Wars... It was during a time in this country when there was an ideology taking root. Uh, one that is, in my opinion, based on bullying. It usually comes, almost always comes, right now, from people with a certain political and social point of view that is not inclusive, and it is not anti-racist or anti-sexist. It is these things. But they promote it like it's a virtue and act like they're... They're fighting people who are like them. It's like a projection. It's a projection that these bullies put on us. And a lot of them claim to be just like we were, the geeks and nerds of decades past, the people that were on the outside. You know, the, the people who weren't normal. Like, this is this is what they claim to be. And they, they definitely ain't normal, but they ain't, <laughs> they ain't my kind of abnormal. One of the reasons that it's very upsetting to a lot of us who loved some of these franchises, Marvel and DC... Star Trek, Star Wars, Doctor Who, what have you, whatever franchise it is that's been infected with this woke ideology, is that once again, for some of us, we had to deal with bullying. Who came into the productions, uh, places like Disney, and began to promote people into fandoms, bring them into fandoms, not based on the things that we love, but based on their political and social ideology, which is built on exclusion and bullying, just real toxicity. All the while projecting these things onto the geeks and nerds of decades past. Whether you were suffered bullying or whether you didn't. Everybody in every fandom knows someone that was bullied because they were a geek. When this whole Gina Carano thing came down, for some of us, like myself, we have had to relive not only the last several years where we have been fighting for our modern myths, where <laughs> these companies basically took our childhoods, things that were good, that gave us escapism, help us to grow our modern myths, and use them to tell us we were pieces of crap, but also outright telling us that we were terrible people, that projecting their own, their own nastiness onto us, just lying, horrible people. Disney should be ashamed of itself. Cancel, cancel Disney Plus. Just cancel it. We have had to relive these things, and then I had to relive it again while I was watching what Gina was going through, what she still is going through. You see, since the fandom menace started, a lot of us have fought, whether you still carry the hashtag or not, a lot of us have fought against these bullies in for these industries and the hate mobs, cancel culture that they generate. The worst 
in our society, the lowest common denominator of people. Beware of anyone with pronouns in their bio. Because that's just a disingenuous thing altogether. That is just a virtue signal. That doesn't mean shit for trans people or trans rights. It, it, that, that don't mean nothing. I see all the harassment, the, 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 the distortion, the creation of narrative, the distortion of facts that happened with Gina since that whole pronoun thing. Where she refused to kneel. She refused to, to give in to something, in my opinion, that's disingenuous. It's not about inclusion and diversity or respecting trans rights. It's not about any of that. It's about bullying people. It's about having an excuse to bully people. That's all it is. Hateful, fearful, awful people who do not deal with their own inner turmoils, their own fears and problems, and yet instead project them upon others and then fight them instead of dealing with their own issues. These are social justice warriors. This is cancel culture. That's what they are. You cannot progress and better yourself if you're projecting who you are to others and then spreading poison, toxicity, fear, and hate. Can't do it. Doesn't make sense. Gina wouldn't kneel to that. And then over subsequent months, harassed consistently, targeted harassment, targeted cancel culture, backed by Kathleen Kennedy Company culture the ceo of disney lucasfilm the same ceo who was allowed a culture created a culture under her that told the old fans the geeks and nerds of decades past that they weren't welcome there no more but they were going to invite in these toxic these this toxic minority of people to be their fan base someone doesn't even financially support them because disney lucasfilm is failing let's face it it's failing it's, it's failed instead invite them in instead of the passionate people that kept this franchise alive and so, and many others and no wonder everybody's pissed off you understand why everyone's pissed off it isn't just about cultural literal cultural appropriation and misuse and misrepresentation and propaganda and lies and cancel culture and bullying it's, it's it's not just about that it's about everything that's been done to all of our friends to people that we have seen on the internet people that we know at work People in our families that we can't no longer have conversations with because they've been indoctrinated into this hateful, bigoted way of thinking. It's about not being able to speak your mind at your job or, or, or with your friends, if you can still call them friends, because you'll get canceled. They will automatically look at you in a certain light from their propaganda, what their propaganda, what way we're programmed to believe by the mainstream media, the access media. Social media, those who run these social media platforms, directing in the directing hate and division, misinformation. I've watched all this happen to people that I've respect, people that I greatly respect that may not necessarily be my friends, but people on YouTube that inspired me to be better, to be a better person, to be on YouTube, to try and make this work. And I've seen it come for them. And friends of theirs, people all around me. And then it came for Gina. I stand with Gina Carano. I don't know her. I got a friend that knows her, apparently. <laughs> Drunk three feels a dick. I don't have to. Because there's hundreds of thousands of us in the menace. Hundreds of thousands of us are outreach. How many channels? I don't know, because I ain't met everybody. There are so many people in our community that are in this fight that don't think like me, that don't look like me that are in this fight and have been and have probably dealt on some level with these cancel culture idiots, these far leftists. All of us have been affected by it. All of us. Professionally, personally, politically, socially. To see Gina speaking in this interview was... difficult at points. Because... I understand the feelings that she's having. I've had them myself. Or I've seen others that I care for go through them. There's a segment that I, I have highlighted here where she's speaking about every person who has come to support her. Those who can say it out loud or from behind, you know, the anonymity of a social media platform. And people in the industry who reached out to her. People at uh, apparently at Disney that can't even come out and openly support a person for fear of losing their job, reputation, financial viability. 
This is what we have allowed to fester in our entertainments. This is why the fandom menace exists. This is why this backlash exists. I wanted to give a response to Gina on the happenstance that she actually sees this video. I'm sure that we all appreciate everything that you said, that how thankful you are to us, but really, we are thankful for you. You are the first person with your outreach, with your level of popularity, that has made this stand, that has refused to kneel, that has not only done this, but been a brilliant point of light amidst the darkness shining with the radiance of a star and inspiration and hope not just to me but i think to a lot of the other geeks and nerds of decades past who have dealt with this type of bullying before on a much smaller scale and for those of us who have dealt with it over the previous years we appreciate you and you are most definitely one of us common sense folk and i will absolutely stand with Love and support you for as long as I can. Guys, please check out Fat Steven Seagal's video. Um, it's a commentary live stream. It's the entire video, but it's about three, uh, three hours, 47 minutes long. Great people on this panel, people from our community, people who have dealt with bullying, geeks and nerds just like us, people from different perspectives, don't look alike, don't sound alike, don't come from different, don't come from the same area. You know, diverse. <laughs> Common sense folk. First and foremost, common sense, folks. So please check out this. I'll leave a link for the description below. Um, can't wait to be able to openly go over this uh, this interview with you guys. Plan on doing it probably on TR4. Maybe maybe later tonight uh, I'll have a group of people, a panelists on from Rogue Entertainment. Please subscribe to everybody from Rogue Entertainment because they're just like us, geeks and nerds of decades past, in the description below. Thank you to each and every person who stopped by this channel, who's subscribed, who's taken the time to listen to me. I don't know. I wouldn't listen to me. Thank you guys very much. Thank you for liking and sharing and, and all the buzz that I've gotten on this channel. Didn't think that, uh, didn't think I'd, I'd get this far, but you know what? I'm pushing for 5,000. So if I can get 5,000 subs, I would greatly appreciate that. If you like what I do and you think that there's somebody that might like it, please share it out. Much appreciate you. We don't have an industry to support us. We only have each other. I am author Stephen Walton, the fandom menace historian. Be good to each other, yet suffer no fools. Wash your hands, wash your ass. Peace. I, I want to stop it there quick. I'm going to play real quick. But she is literally talking to every one of you who have given that hashtag. Every person that has tagged her with us, we stand with Gina. The I love Gina Carano day. All of those things that we have done, everyone has done across the world, whether it be here on our YouTube community. She's pretty much saying thank you without having to say thank you, because he, all of us has pulled her up.